All right, so now that we've got our controller and our factory set up, it's time to create the node server. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our terminal. And let's see, we're inside of our folder. So we're going to create an express app. And we are going express, we'll call it fighter server. Create that. And now if we check the list, we'll cd into fighter server. And back to Sublime Text, let's go ahead and let's actually, let's leave this open, we'll close this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the app.js. So for what we are doing, we do not need the view engine. We don't need this. Let's see. Don't even need, we don't need this. The rest of this stuff is pretty good. And then this is what we, where we will be working. So we are going to like from our so our factory is going to hit this route, localhost get fighter list, and actually we need localhost port three thousand. So we are going to hit this route. Let's go ahead and copy it. And over in the server we're going to say app dot get, and oh, yeah, we're going to get this when this route. We are going to then pass it a function. And the function is going to have two parameters, so request, response. We're not even going to worry about error handling at the moment. Just get it, get it up and running. So then when it's hit, for us testing, we're going to say console log, get fighter, hit. And then we will say response.status, and we'll give it a 200 status of OK. So now what we need to do is use our terminal. And we need to install our dependencies. So npm install. This is installing all the dependencies that Node needs to run. The server needs to run. And while this is loading, let's take one more quick look on what's kind of happening here. So we've got our uh, controller, which is going to call the factory, fighter list factory, and the method get fighter list. Get fighter list is going to return an HTTP request of this route and this route is what we are making right here in our server so let's go ahead and take a look at this looks like okay so we got all everything installed now we're going to say npm start fire up our server and then if we should if we hit this refresh we should on the terminal get get fighter hit perfect so now our node server is set up the next step is going to be working with integrating CloudScrape. So see you next time.